Hello, everyone. We are back with a new episode of Arcanum, and we left off where we have went through the Black Mountain Plan mines, and now we are going to talk to Gilbert Bates, and this will let us uh, progress the main storyline, and this will take us to the Isle of Despair, which is what we found out in the mines, which is where they were banished. So that's what we're going to do. So let's head on over to the mansion, and I think I'm going to have to forward it a little bit to get it back up to the correct time, because right now it's, yeah, it's 3.48, I need to get it to at least 8 o'clock, so probably sleep for four hours once we get there. All right, so we are here, here's Gilbert Bates, um, it's morning. What we're going to do is go through a dialogue now, uh, so I'll, uh, it is voice acted, which is nice. So we'll talk to him and then we will find out what we need to, need to do next. So we'll talk to him and then we'll find out what we need to do next. You have returned. Tell me what news. The dwarves were banished to the Isle of Despair because, uh... For the sake of the gods, out with it, man! They irresponsibly allowed their technology to spread to humans. By the gods, it is as I always feared. I doomed them all. What have I done? My youthful impertinence. Aye. Here's some gold for your trouble. Could you do something further for me? Would you like me to go to the Isle of Despair? If you would... I know I've already asked much of you, but an old man needs to put his mind at ease. Of course, how do I get there? Go to the docks at Ashbury. You can find it on your map. Ask around for Edward Teach, a crusty old salt. He is in command of one of the boats that I use for special jobs. And he will take me. Can this man be trusted? I trust him implicitly. There are rumors of a somewhat less than virtuous career on the high seas, but he's a good man should a difficult situation arise. That is reassuring. I'll wire ahead to tell Teach to expect you. Thank you for your generosity. I will apprise you of my findings. All right, so that is the next part of the quest is to go to Ashbury, which we've already been. That's where the the dog is. That's where he's from. And we need to talk to the captain there, uh, Edward Teach. Then he will take us to the Isle of Despair. Uh, in the meantime, there are some other th one other thing we can do in Tarant while we're here, and that is to go to the the boil, which is the very beginning of the city. And that will let us do some quests in that area, which there are a couple of quests, and there are two main gangs there, and you could pick from uh, either gang to join them by doing a quest for the, for them against the other gang. So that's a interesting little option that we can that we can do, and I'll probably do that just so that we can get the full experience of the game. All right, so we are now in the boil. And this is uh, the southern part of Tarant. So if we look at our map here, here's the bridge that takes us to the main city. And on this side, we have just a few buildings and some uh, bad guys here. This is kind of the boil little area here. And there's two different sections, uh, depending on which side you want to go to. Um, no matter what, you have to, you're going to have to fight some guys. So if we look at our map here. Uh, we can see a few guys here, which is these two guys, or I guess three guys, and then some guys here. I think there's just two guys here. We'll need to fight them as soon as we cross the line. Alright, so as you can see they aggroed me. And this is pretty much uh, the only time you have to fight somebody um, like this in here. Now there are quests that we need to do, which require killing people, but 
For now, this is going to be just it. So we need to have like 19, 18, 25. Oof. So let's uh, make some distance here. Let's cast our hasten. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here now, and then I'm gonna spam a fire spell. Are they all dead? Yep. All right, not too bad. I did clear my inventory. Uh, I sold a bunch of stuff. Those scrolls, um, if you sell them to the magic guy, uh, he'll give you like 1,200 coins for each scroll. So that's pretty nice, uh, and I think I had like five or six left. What is it that you want of me? Let's give him all this junk. I still have the two hammers. I need to get those uh, identified. And I did save the uh, stuff that I had. These are just extras that I'm going to probably uh, get rid of. But I did save a bunch of these and put them in my uh, chest in the warehouse. And for some reason, my armor's not rendering. It, I have uh, armor on, but it's not rendering. Alright, so we have a uh, pub here. We can do a quest for the pub owner. Uh, this guy right here. I'm at your disposal. Perhaps I might ask who you are, sir. Uh, I'm called Malloy, Caleb Malloy. And this is my pub. Nice to meet you, Caleb. Good to meet you too, lad. Listen, you're new around here. A man can tell by the by looking who knows the boil and who don't. This ain't a nice place to be visiting, especially when you don't know the lay of the land. What do you mean, the boil? The boil, that's what this is. Here, stinking neighborhood is called. Bloody den of thieves, brigands, and murders. A few poor families here and there, mostly just trying to make a living and staying out of the way of Clan Mog and Pollock's gang. Clan Mog and Pollock's gang, who are they? Pollock's a half ogre who runs a mishmash bunch of hooligans here in the boil. Not too organized, mind you, but vicious and cruel. And Clan Mog? Darien Mog's clan is mostly orcs and half orcs. He plays it a little quieter, but you can't trust him any more than a Bengelian Viper. Who's the better gang to work for? Well, that's tough to say, lad. If you get involved with one, the other gang is going to be after your hide. A man needs to be careful about who he works for in the boil. Once you decide, there's no going back. Of course. Uh, how may I help you? So now you can uh, ask him if there's any work to be had around here. And he uh, he responds, Well, you could talk with some of the boys here in the bar. Of course, that would mean you'd have to make a choice which gang you wanted to join up with. Mogs or Pollocks. And then you'd have, to, you'd have the other gang out to kill it kill you. It gets pretty messy out here. Are there any other alternatives? Hmm. I've got a job that needs doing. Might be easy or it might be get messy. You never know here in the boil. I'd be interested in hearing about it. Well, I get pretty regular shipments of whiskey every week, except lately. One of the gangs has been stealing it. Normally I don't get any trouble from them and neither one is owning up to it because they know somebody's getting their skull smashed when I find out who it is. I see. What is what is it you need from me? Well, I need someone to go pick up the whiskey for me. I'm running real low. You go pick it up and I'll give you 500 gold pieces when you get back here with it. What do you think? Sounds good. What do I do? A man's name is Biggs. He's waiting for you in the middle of the Gorillion Bridge at the Towers. 
I'll send a boy over there and tell him to be waiting for you. Watch yourself, lad. The boy ain't a place to be getting careless. You hear me? I must be going. So let's go do that real quick. He's in the middle of the bridge. Which is not too far away. Alright, so here's the guy. Right here. Hey there, you're Caleb's boy, right? He told me to expect in you. I'm Biggs. Guess I'm here for the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, I've got to got it right here. My delivery boys keep getting mugged on their way to Mulloway's. Hopefully you'll have better luck. Thank you, Biggs. And then you get jumped by these guys here. Alright. Uh, the, re the reason why I had so many uh, uh, turns during that time is that I do have these boots on. And these boots are... Enchanted War Boots, and they give you plus 5 speed. So my speed is up to... Without any bonuses, it's up to... 15, which is pretty good. So I'm, I'm gonna be, uh... Keeping these boots. Which will help in the long term. When I put haste on... Uh, I have a lot of speed then, at that point in time. So, what I do want to do is... I want to start working on my uh, force college because this is the college I'm going to max out just because there's so many damaging spells in here other colleges don't have as many damaging spells a lot of utility spells but this one in particular has a lot of damaging spells so I'm going to actually start maxing this one out for the next couple of levels uh, I'll be able to get two from 25 and 26 27 so by level 27 I'll have this uh, disintegrate spell which does the most damage but you're not able to loot the person once they die from this spell. And then after that, I think I'm going to be done with uh, my magic. I'm already at level uh, magic 100, which is the max. Uh, so everything else is going to be... Um, I won't need it. I think I have some... I have quench life, which is decent. It does a decent amount of damage. But the... Uh, so what you want to do... Um, is once you actually master a college, you can then go and become an, uh, I guess, a, an expert or a master of that college from the the college school. All right, so we have the uh, whiskey, and now we're gonna talk to Caleb here and turn the quest in. All right, I'll be departing. So that quest is turned in. All right, we have two options now. Uh, we have we have the quest line to join the Pollock gang, or the quest line to join the Mog clan. So the Mog clan is this guy. You talk to him and ask him for work, and he will send you uh, on quests, and we will then be able to join the Mog clan for the Pollocks. Talk to this guy, who will send us to this lady, and she will give us a quest, and they, then she will uh, send us to Pollock, to join the Pollock gang. As soon as you um, talk to either one of these guys, and go through the dialogue of, I need work, then you will not be able to talk to the other one. I'm going to choose the Pollocks for this playthrough, because um, they have a shorter quest line. It's a little bit harder. But it's a shorter quest line. So we need to talk to... Uh, you want to get a few questions out of him. And now when he gets into this mode here, you just want to say... Uh, perhaps you'd like to try Baggart. Baggart. Um, so you're trying to like not sound like a wimp. You're trying to be, uh, you know, kind of more aggressive. And then he... Uh, he says a man's eyes flare, then almost, he almost smiles. Hmm. Perhaps you might just have a little sand in you, boy. The boy will teach you right 
quick as to just how much. I'll give you some free advice. Don't be saying words you don't mean and don't back down to no one. Unless you, of course, you run into Pollock. Uh, thanks for the advice. Could I ask you a few more questions? I don't see why not. Make it quick, though. Word, uh, how does someone go about getting work around here? So that's the quest. That's what you need to do to get into the Pollock gang. And he talks about the clan Mog. If you were to take a quest from the clan Mog, you would not be liked anymore by the Pollocks, and vice versa. So, uh, say if I wanted to join the Pollocks gang, and he sends you to uh, Miranda Tears, the rough looking lass that's standing up there by the bar. So, this lady right here. All right. Good day to you. Talk to her. We tell her that one of the men told me I could talk to you about a job. And then she explains, uh, you know, do you know who you're working for? And you say Pollock. She explains who Pollock is. And you say, of course. And who might you be? She says she's Miranda Tears. And may I speak with you about employment? Yes, the job. So the job is essentially going into Clan Mog's warehouse and getting a crate of ale. I'll do so. All right. So we're neutral with her now. But now all of Clan Mog is going to be aggressive towards us. Let's go up here. All right. So we have uh, the house. This is the house where Clan Mog's uh, at. And you can see these guys in reaction at the bottom. It says negative 48. So they are very... Uh, this guy's negative 88. So they're very... Uh, they don't like us at all. The This is their house, and this is the warehouse right here. Oop, this guy's already aggroing me. Alright. Alright, so you gotta kill these two guys. And you can loot their bodies if you want. They have some decent stuff on them. At this point in time, money's not really a problem. It's not, um, we don't really need money. You can get into the warehouse. It's locked, by the way. Um, you can sneak in there if you have a lockpick. And so that was the uh, ale. We have the ale now. And we just have to return it to uh, the lady. All right, so let's turn in the quest. Uh, you say, I brought back the crate of ale. All right, and then she tells us to go find Pollock. Uh, you have done nicely. You have nicely done. Welcome to Pollock's gang. I've told him about you, and he wants to meet you as soon as possible. If you head down to the South Boil, you'll find where he lives. Tell the guard that Miranda said it was okay for you to go in. Watch yourself, and don't do anything stupid. Pollock will be waiting. I will do that, Miranda. Good day to you. I like Miranda. She's pretty nice. Um, the Pollocks are actually a nicer gang. Uh because they're not um, very aggressive. All right, since we haven't been to this side of the boil yet, we need to fight these guys. Um, they're gonna aggro us as soon as we get close to them. So the best bet is to just uh, kill them before they... Let's go right here. There's three of them here. There's this guy here, at least three guys here. You wanna kill them um, ASAP. So I would just put on hasten. And let's go into combat mode. And let's just, uh... These guys are harder to kill. Alright. Wasn't too bad. The guards will not help you, by the way. They don't care about this place. You yeah, do not expect any help. Like I said, do not expect any help from us. Okay, we're getting full inventories. What is it that you want? To All right, I'm going to save it real quick, and then we'll uh, proceed on. So he is in this uh, gated area here. 
These guys are going to be nice to you. These are actually a part of the Pollock gang. They're going to be pretty nice to you. This is the guard. And this is his house, Pollock's house. What do you want? Whose house is this? This is Pollock's house if you don't like stran strangers hanging around here. I'm no stranger. Miranda Tears told me to go and speak with him. Oh, it's you. All right. Hey, boss. This is the new guy. He's here to talk to you. I'll remember that. Okay. This is uh, Pollock. Ah, the boy that's been making so much noise in the boil. Pollock, I assume. Yeah, I be Pollock. That's the name you're going to be remembering, boy. Yes, I'm sure that is. Uh, hey, I don't I know you over there? Pollock never be forgetting face. I know I've seen yours. Maybe you've been to the boil before. Virgil? I, I, uh, don't know what you're talking about, Pollock. Uh, I'm sure we've never seen each other before today. Be careful with him. I've heard, uh, rumors about him. <laughs> so Virgil's actually, uh, a part of the boil before. Virgil, are you sure you've never been here before? This is not the time or the place to talk about such things. Just watch yourself and be smart about what you say. All right, Virgil. I'm sorry, Pollock, you were saying... I'd be the leader of the gang. You like making noise. Pollock don't like people making too much noise. I'd be the leader of this gang. You savvy? Of course, Pollock. I'm not here to make trouble. Good. You smart. You keep being smart, and you not end up dead, savvy. Pollock got a job for you, smart boy. You think you got some stones to do nothing? Do another better job? Another job? Uh, I'll be glad to do whatever it is you need done. Good boy, smart boy. You listen to Pollock and you do not end up dead. There's a man I need you to kill, a man called Darian Mog. You know Darian Mog, boy. Yes, I've heard Mr. Mog. Well, Mog be living in that big building at the top of the boil. It be called the Bentley. Thinks, the king, thinks he's the king of the boil in that building. Pollock, show him who the king is. Who's the king? I understand. Is there anything you can tell me that might help? Bentley locked up tight, boy, and lots of orc trash watching all the time, inside and out. You gotta be smart, boy, not to make a lot of noise. Got to be sneak in, be smart, make him dead. Savvy? I got some things might help you. Might just help you not get dead. You magicker or tech boy? I'm a magicker. Magicker, huh? I got some things that might help me magicker like you. Alright, so it gives us me some stuff. Yes, and what do I get in return? Get to keep things I give you, and if you come back alive, I give you 1,500 gold. That's all you're going to get from Pollock Savvy. Deal. Good day. So now we need to go to that big house up there. Alright, so we are here outside of the house, and we have to kill Mog, who is inside of it. And there are a lot of guys in there, so let's get started with these first two. If we want to kill these berserkers first, they are really strong. Those are pretty fast. Uh, we did get some stuff, uh, be being a magic user, we did get some stuff from uh, Pollock. Yeah, it was this Nightmare spell, and this uh, Shrink one, and Unlock Cantrips. They did give us some of this stuff, which is pretty nice. These guys have uh, axes on them. I'm not going to pick them up because that will just slow me down for now. But we can always come back and loot them later.
All right, then we have the final uh, fight here. Let's go in here. Nice jacket. Sword. Some chests here. Nothing in them. Okay. There is a, a, a sewer. You can actually go through the sewers and come into uh, his base right here, which lets you bypass these other rooms. Then all you have to do is just fight these two guys and then him. You may aggro one of the guys in here though, so you keep that in mind. That's pretty much it though. We are done with this quest. Now have to go back and talk to Pollock, and then we'll be done with uh, the boil. All right. So let's talk to uh, Pollock, and then we'll be done. So you come back. I hear you killed Mog. Good job, boy. Yes, I've come here to get my money. Yes, you earned it. Here your money. You've done a good job, boy. You'll always be a member of Pollock's gang. I must go. That is it. Okay, so we have wrapped up the Tarant stuff. The boil was kind of last place. There is still... Uh, some thief quests you can do if you were a thief. I'm not a thief or have the ability to complete those quests. And there's also some sewer stuff we can do. You can go in the sewers and explore the sewers. There's a decent amount of monsters in there. But um, that's also kind of part of the thieves section there. So really the next place you need to go is to Ashbury. And I'm going to go do that in the next episode. I'm going to go sell stuff in between episodes. Then I will see you in Ashbury. So once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the series, hit a like. And until next time, bye.